What up, dude? So I'm doing a little solo trip today. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop on my boat, go out, we're gonna sight fish the beach using one of my favorite sight fishing lures. You could not ask for better sight fishing conditions. The target species today are pompano and redfish. So it's March here in Pensacola, uh, Florida. That's what you're gonna find. Uh, come on. So first things first, this wind is going to need to die, man. The, uh, the forecast says it's supposed to, but if it doesn't, it's gonna make sight fishing tough. So hopefully, hopefully the weatherman's not a liar. So check out this little lure I've got tied on here, guys. Super tiny, whoops, I'm about to run into a dot. It's a really tiny beach uh, surf fishing jig right here. And I love that lure for pompano and other stuff like that in the surf. You saw me using it in Belize a lot when I was uh, crushing the bonefish, but I'm gonna go cast the beach with it right now. I've also got a bigger lure tied on in case I run into a big school of reds, but I really want pompano or something like that today. So check it out guys, I am right here in the surf and I'm on a semi secluded beach right here. The water's a little murky. It's actually a little murkier than I thought it would be, but I may do some blind casting. This may make Pompano eat a little better, so we'll see. All right, guys. Man, it is beautiful, beautiful right here. First cast. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blind cast a little bit just because it is a little murky. I can see them if they're up in the surf for sure. Uh, that is weird. I, I I know that I didn't just get a bite, but I felt like something hit it. <laughs> like there's no way. Oh, good God, I got him. Already got a fish. You are kidding me, dude. Look at that. I caught a Spanish mackerel. I'm like sitting there jigging. Look at this. I catch a Spanish mackerel on the uh, first freaking cast. Are you kidding me? Dude, what? What? That is awesome. Holy cow, that just made me happy. So guys, that was the very first mackerel that I've seen in 2019 here in Pensacola. Right here fishing the surf. That's a great sign, you know? That The reason it's a great sign, I mean, that is a sure sign of spring. And it's also a really good fish to put our clients on when we're down here, when they're down here. So it's just a good thing to know. There was a bunch of them with him too. I probably could have stayed right back there, but I'm kind of wanting to find some pompano or redfish or something. Oh, there he is. Fish on, guys. Fish on. That's another nice one, dude. Oh, I think it's another Spanish. Look at there. Yep, it sure is. Nice. Nice, nice. I like it. I like it. This is cool. This is different, man. I'm just down here sight fishing the surf. Pretty little Spanish mackerel. We're going to release him. He frayed my line up real bad, so I'm going to have to retie. That's cool though. All right. Yeah, I had to retie. Those Spanish have really sharp teeth. And so I probably wouldn't have gotten another cast out of those. Oh, there's another. Oh, dude, something smashed it. He hitting it again. <laughs> I'm feeling him. Oh, I think that's Spanish. He may have got to be Spanish. Got to be Spanish. <laughs> yeah that had to have been spanish yep they're fraying my line all up man that sucks it doesn't suck i'm happy to see them here so those are the first two spanish mackerel of the season right there which makes me really happy because that means that now i've got another species i can target 
with my clients when they come down to book charters with me. It also means that spring is here. When you catch the first Spanish, it's on. I'm gonna get in a little closer, see if I can get out of them. I'm very happy to see them here. So guys, if you ever just wanna come and blind cast the beach and or sight fish the beach like this, I don't care if it's from shore or out of a boat, whatever you have access to, this little lure here is one of the best lures that you can use. It's like a pretty much catch anything from the beach. You've got a shot at uh, pompano, redfish, bluefish, mackerel. I've even caught permit on them here. And obviously I've caught bonefish on them. You saw my Belize videos where I slayed the bonefish. Come on, take it. Oh, ah. All right, bro, it was a Spanish. Crap, look at that, he got me. He got me, I know, he cut me off completely. Those teeth, dang it. I put on a little heavier line to keep from getting cut off. The only bad part about that is if I do see some pompano up in the like super shallow water, it's gonna be, uh, tough to uh, get them to bite but oh well. I'm kind of shocked that I haven't seen one single redfish down this beach yet. Usually man I you're gonna see a bunch of redfish to throw at but I haven't seen any maybe they're down further I don't know I'm gonna keep looking. It sure is pretty right in here man I mean it is absolutely gorgeous. If they were here you could definitely see them. So even if I don't have any more success today, I learned some extremely valuable information, and that is that the Spanish are here. So I gotta drive around all the surf fishermen here. There's a bunch of surf fishermen set up on the beach right there. You don't wanna get in their way. I mean, they got, uh, they only have limited access to the beach, so I'm just gonna drive around and let them have this area. See if I can find some redfish or pompano. Um, that's kinda, I'm kinda angry right now. Um, a charter boat just pulled in right in front of me, right where I'm headed down uh, fishing and blew the whole beach with his motor. Now he's got clients, I understand that he's looking for, uh, for fish but he literally blew the whole beach with his motor and that pretty much ruins ruins everything for me like i mean for a minute anyways like and i've got to let the whole beach settle back down it's just kind of like come on man so guys there's two redfish up here in the surf about 75 yards in front of me and i'm going to get up to them right here and make a cast. This is the first two redfish I've seen today. And this visibility is like crazy good, man. I usually I would be seeing a lot more fish, but they're just uh they're just not in the surf today for some reason. Alright, there they are. I can probably reach them from here. Alright. Oh yeah, that is a perfect cast, dude. Perfect cast. Oh, dude, one of them's going towards it. One of them's going towards it. Oh, he is on it, dude. His nose is on that lure. Come on. Eat it. Look, every time I jerk it, he follows it. Come on, eat it, dude. Oh, my God, he turned off of it. Oh, that is frustrating, man. That was a nice fish, and he, he like, followed it all the way in. And then turned off of it, man. He's gone up into this. Uh, he's five feet from shore now, way up there. I thought that was for sure. Like right when I uh, the first, right when my bait hit the water, he turned and went towards it. Usually that's like a for sure sign that they're gonna eat it, but it didn't happen. I'm kind of in shock. I have not seen the beach this pretty in a really long time. The wind has died. It's beautiful. And I'm not seeing anything. Like I'm about to turn into the negative fisherman out here. Literally not seeing any fish. That's the problem. It's not that I'm not, I'm missing them or anything. It's just that I'm not seeing them. 
There's a big, it looks like shark right in front of the boat right here, guys. Check him out. <laughs> if he bites, I'm done for. <laughs> See him right there? He's on top. Nice size shark. Dude, these are like big sharks too, man. These are not small ones. Not small at all. Like, look at this guy right here in front of the boat. Ah, they're really, really spooky today, though, in this shot. This is how they are start of the year, usually. So I came way, way, way down the beach here just to kind of get away from everything. Uh, I kept, I kept getting cut off by charter boats and other fishing boats that would literally pull in like 50 yards in front of me to where I'm clearly riding down the beach with my trolling motor cast in and burn the whole beach with their motor. Like I'm not, if I was like super serious about fishing, I'd be mad, but since I'm not, it doesn't really bother me. It's just like nobody in the fishing industry has a whole lot of respect for anyone. There's a lot of entitled people in the outdoor industry, especially charter boat guides. And so I just like, you just got to take it, take it as it is. That's how those people are. It's not a reflection of me. It's a reflection of something that they're dealing with. So I don't even care. This is tough, guys. This is, this is getting tough. Y'all have no idea how long I've been out here. Like the video does not do it justice. Man, I've ridden for miles and miles and I've seen three redfish. So I'm not going to lie. This has been exhausting. Uh, you guys have no idea how long I've been out here for hours and hours and hours to not see anything on such a beautiful day, man. <laughs> I guess if there's a silver lining, it is a beautiful day. And uh, the fact that I saw sharks and caught Spanish today means that spring, true spring, is is right here a week away before we're really gonna get into the action so i'm super happy about that but man i'm, I'm like mentally drained i'm gonna look at one more spot on the way back and then i'm headed to the house we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away.